In this video, I'll talk about one of the many features of the Plant Site Portal, which is version comparison of your project. We access the Plant Site Portal via a standard Chrome browser, and this is done without installing anything additional on your device besides the browser. Everything we're going to see here for Plant Site is running as a series of cloud services, which allows me to run this with zero footprint beyond the default browser install. From the portal, we access our Plant Site project, which is a project created with OpenPlant where we have imported PNIDs and a 3D model with the native capabilities of OpenPlant to sync this data with PlantSite. Let's think a little bit about what we have here and why this is important right now. It doesn't matter where the people were when they made their changes to the model. We could have done this with everyone working at home. We could have done this with people in different parts of the world. It doesn't matter. The data ends up in one spot on the cloud. Once that data is there, then that also makes it incredibly easy to access, not just from a software point of view by me just using a browser, but also by an accessibility point of view. I view this when I'm sitting at home, as most of us right now, or in an office, wherever you can access the internet. Going beyond just viewing the project data, one additional feature is that we can also view how the project has changed over time. Once we have created named versions, which are snapshots at particular points in time, we can see what has changed between two different states in the project. In these first two examples, we'll just show how the model has evolved through major milestones of the project. The first set of changes we look at shows us the equipment was added. First comes up is blue to show that it has changed because the equipment was already existing in the PNIDs. When we flip to the physical model, it switches to green to show that it was new in that physical model. In the second example, We'll do the same for piping and also show how we can filter it by turning off items that didn't change. The feature compare functionality gives you a way to quickly check what changes were made and when they were made, not just visually in the model, but also by viewing changes in the data. In this example, we'll see that just the data has changed between the two different versions. In this case, we were actually removing some insulation values. First, we can filter on items that have changed. In this case, it's just a pipeline. It is highlighted in blue. Clicking on Inspect Properties brings up the list of properties for each change set. Since there may be a lot of properties and not a lot of changes, we can filter and see that, in this case, the insulation material was deleted and the insulation thickness went to zero. Here in this example, we can see the values for some of the properties were added. On this pipeline, we set the insulation material it shows up as green and the insulation thickness was set to 2. Thanks for watching this short video on version comparison in PlantSite. As we all adjust to this new way of working, make sure you check out bentley.com COVID-19 to see how Bentley can help you during these unprecedented times.